Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm diving deep into the fascinating world of anti-establishment rhetoric and how it's shaping modern politics. Let's get right into it. First up, let's talk about Russell Brand. Remember him? The comedian turned conspiracy theorist who's been making waves online. Back in 2015, he was a major voice in British politics, at least for a hot minute. Labor leader Ed Miliband even sought his endorsement during the election. But why? Because Brand's anti-corporate, anti-establishment rants resonated with millions. Even now, despite scandals and controversies, his audience remains fiercely loyal. It's a clear example of how anti-establishment messages can create a dedicated following. Now let's switch gears to populism and social media. Populists have always had a knack for using platforms like Twitter and Facebook to their advantage. Take the Brexit campaign, for example. The UK Independence Party's Facebook posts got double the likes of the Conservative Party's posts. Why? Because populists frame politics as a battle between the corrupt elite and the pure people. This direct communication style appeals to voters who feel ignored by traditional politicians. Social media gives them a voice and they're not afraid to use it. And speaking of shaking things up, let's head to Argentina. Javier Millet, dubbed the Argentine Trump, is making headlines with his anti-socialist, anti-establishment rhetoric. He's leading in the polls and could very well become the next president. His rise to prominence has sent shockwaves through the political landscape, challenging the long-standing factions that have dominated for decades. His message? Reject the old guard and embrace a new libertarian future. And voters are listening. So what's the takeaway here? Anti-establishment rhetoric is powerful. It taps into the frustrations and disillusionments of everyday people. Whether it's brands anti-corporate tirades, populists using social media to rally support, or Miele's anti-socialist crusade, these messages resonate deeply. They promise change, a break from the status quo, and a voice for the voiceless. But it's also a double-edged sword. While it can mobilize and empower, it can also divide and polarize. As we've seen time and again, the rise of anti-establishment figures often leads to significant shifts in the political landscape, for better or worse. All right, folks, that's it for today's deep dive into how anti-establishment rhetoric shapes politics. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay engaged. Until next time, take care.